Hey everyone. Hey everyone, Mark King here, and this is a uh, video. Well, okay, it has some videos in there, but this is from RT. Blackfish Dudo arrested for trying to provoke uh, George Floyd uh, protesters in Toronto. So before we begin, I, I nothing's wrong with blackface, right? It's just something that they they pushed. Now, to me, these things signify freedom. You should do what you want, wear what you want. You know, people have no right to assault you. You can say what you want. Again, I have no issues with these things, but all of a sudden, there it got pushed to the forefront. Like this was some type of um, wrong. This was some ill upon the world to wear a blackface, and now it's the most offensive thing. Where apparently, you know, again. It's supposed to be sticks and stones. Now it's um, you do this, you deserve to be punched or worse. Now again, we live in a world where the criminals, somehow these pot belly criminals, somehow uh, have more rights than the um, the good law-abiding citizen. This is a law-abiding citizen. Like, well, obviously, this is Toronto, though, so maybe I'm wrong. But <laughs> let's see. Things got heated during the George Floyd rally in Toronto after a white man who has his face painted black attempted to join demonstrators. Troublemaker apparently tried to provoke the crowd of BLMs. There's a funny quote. Um, what does it stand for? Uh, breaking, looting, murdering, right? That's really funny. Anyway, um, but luckily for him, the protesters in Canada largely turned out to be less violent than the counterparts near. So that is lucky. Now, I've been to Canada numerous times, and they used to remind me of people in England. Where England, um, English used to be very friendly, very polite, very nice. Obviously, it gets ruined with um. Well, I don't see much of those people in the crowd. Maybe this guy, but you know, when you invite um awful people, but the awful people serve the will of the um of the communists. Awful people get the ways, you know. So a tense moment near um, Phillips Square, someone dressed in blackface. Thankfully, a police in the beat. Thankfully, let's see. Okay. You know, I must say, if anything, this guy is a hero. <laughs> you know, it's just like to do this with all these uh, terrible people around. Hero, right? <laughs> Damn, that guy's a hero. Anyway, um, the guy was instantly nicknamed Blackfish to the by protesters in reference to the last scam of photos. Again, these things, uh, these things were fine until it simply wasn't. Again, when you see these things, simple things like this happen, it's because there's pushing an agenda and it's usually from, um, you know, I love the CCP, um, the, the Chinese Communist Party were actually, um, how do I say this, activated. Um, by the Russians probably like 40, 50, 60 years ago. Uh, History is a bit off there. Maybe 70 years ago now. So this is why you have modern day communism. You know, I always think like, like look, United States should buy up to Russia. Right? Russia will be their friend when the SHIT hits the fan, you know. It seems like the, the left wants to make Russia the enemy. There's nothing that shows Russia as the enemy. There's everything to show that China is the enemy. It's funny, it seems like the, the left supports China. That's really odd. While while the left also hates Russia. The right seemingly hates China, but I don't really care much about Russia. Uh, that's quite fascinating. Anyway, let's see the post my man in blackface. Let's see a different camera view here. Can we just leave it there? Anyway, um, 
the blackface man was escorted out of Nathan Phillips Square, put in a police car. However, he treated the whole thing as jerk and shouting slogans. I mean, that's the way it should be. Yeah, uh, that's the way it should be. You know, there's again, there's nothing wrong with this. There was nothing wrong with this until it was used as political tool. I'm not sure exactly when, but it seemed nobody even cared them until like 2010. Nobody really cared. Uh, I mean, the, again, this to me represents freedom here, right? Do what you want, say what you want, act how you want. If somebody wants to dress as a white guy, go right ahead. There was this movie called White Chicks. You know, nothing wrong with it. You know, the 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 thing that you want is always push the envelope. You want things that offend people. You know, that's what you really want. You know, that's why you push comedy. Unless it's feminist comedy when it's about crying and talking about victimization. Anyway, I'll leave that here. I think this was uh, like a really nice video and you know, not all heroes wear capes as they say. <laughs> I'm surprised that the, the crowd didn't just start attacking him. You know, it just seems the mob mentality seems to be strictly in the US and a lot of Western countries were somehow, uh, I assume Canada, because their population is, how do I say, not as a multilingual <laughs> as the uh, as the unilingual nations of that. <laughs> All right. No, no, they're, they're not as multilingual as the other multilingual nations. Actually, that's actually the part where they say it. All right. All right. Bye. Take a thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye. Stick around.